Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will see how one can determine valence electrons from given electronic configuration of any element. But before that, one must know the difference between what are shells and what are subshells. If we try to understand it in simple terms, shell is a pathway followed by electrons around the nucleus as shown in this figure here. And subshell is a pathway in which electrons move within the shells. So we can say that subshells are the part of shell. The first shell K have only one subshell. The second shell L has two subshells. The third shell M has six subshells and so on. And we know that the valence electrons are the electrons that are present in outermost shell. Now many students make a common mistake that they count the number of electrons in the subshell and write them down as number of valence electrons which is incorrect. And in let us understand it with an example. Here is the electronic configuration of chlorine in which the last electron go in 3p subshell. So the mistake that is commonly made is that we write down the valence electron as 5 which is incorrect as 5 is the number of electrons in the last subshell and not the shell. The last shell that the electrons are entering is the M shell that is shell number 3. So the number of valence electrons becomes 2 in 3s and 5 in 3p that equals to 7. So there are 7 valence electrons in chlorine. Let us see some more examples. Here the last shell that the electrons are entering is in the shell M that means that the shell number 3. So there are 2 electrons in last shell so the valence electron that magnesium has are 2. Here the last subshell in xenon in which electrons are entering is 5p but the last shell is shell number O that is number 5. So the electron so the so the total valence electrons becomes 2 in 5a subshell and 6 in 5p subshell that equals to 8. Try the next example by yourself and write down your answers in the comments. For more such videos make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.